Hi, Dr. Ed Byer again. Today, folks, we're going to be talking about one of the many factors that we see in our clinic when it comes to uh, being able to manage and support and treat kids with ADD and ADHD. First of all, ADD and ADHD is a neurological problem. It's a neurological problem, and that's the good news because your neurology, your brain can be changed if you give it what it needs. Now, today we're going to be talking about pyroluria as one of the factors that can contribute to ADD and ADHD. Remember, there's many factors that cause ADD and ADHD. This is one of them that I see in about 30% of the kids and even adults uh, in, our, in our clinic. It's called pyroluria. Now, pyroluria is a condition where your body is making too many compounds known as cryptopyroles. When we make hemoglobin for our red blood cells or when we break down hemoglobin for our, from our red blood cells, we naturally produce these chemicals called cryptopyroles. People with pyroluria make too many of these cryptopyroles, and we can measure these in the urine. Now, what is the problem with that? Well, when you make too many cryptopyroles in this condition called pyroluria, what happens is, is you will excrete out all of your zinc, vitamin B6, and certainly central fatty acids. And let me tell you, all three of these things are needed so much for your brain to properly develop and for brain to change for the better. Zinc is used in over 300 different enzyme systems in our body. Vitamin B6, you absolutely need the active form of B6 to make serotonin and dopamine, the two main neurotransmitters that make our frontal lobes work so we can pay attention and tune out things that we shouldn't be listening to or hear and be able to control our impulses and act socially appropriately. And essential fatty acids, your brain is mostly made up of essential fatty acids, are a main energy source for the brain and also for making different hormones and different things in the body. So this is one of the things that we check for in all of our kids. And we know that if we don't, if they have this and you don't identify it and correct it, then they're not going to respond to care. Hope that helps. I'm Dr. Ed Byer.